the world is facing a huge fragmentation at all levels, geopolitical, economic, political, also in the context of the media. So this is the time when we need to talk and we need to try to understand each other. And that's not always easy because the Eastern way of thinking is different from what we have in the West and therefore we have to make an effort. Every you know, effort in that regard is welcome, necessary and vitally important. There are spaces in which this can be and should be done. One of them is communication between European Union and China. Uh, this is a relationship which is rich and complex. There is a great deal of interdependence here and not enough dialogue that would help overcoming the glitches, the obstacles that exist and so forth. So that's one space. The other space, unfortunately, is the United Nations Security Council nowadays. Uh, Security Council has to deal with very serious crises and wars and there has to be dialogue there which would help to stop the fighting. And pave the way towards peaceful resolution of issues that are there on the agenda of the Security Council. So, I mean, I give you two examples where dialogue is vital. But then again, we who do not have currently political responsibilities, we have to make our own contribution. And this book is such a contribution, and I hope that it will help. People nowadays take in the West a slightly ideological view to, to Belt and Road as a kind of an assertive policy of China. But that's a very limited understanding. Of course, China is pursuing its own interest, but there is a lot of space for interests of everybody else. We have to figure out <coughs> what is the actual nature of our interdependence. And once that becomes clear, then, of course, solutions will come much more easily.